so this is Monday, um, July 24th, 2017. We had some pretty heavy rain come through yesterday. I think it started about 7 p.m. and I believe it went on and off throughout the night. Um, so I came by the apartment today. I'm actually no longer sleeping here. I've got the majority of my stuff out, but I wanted to check on the apartment. And I'm just making another video. Uh, you can see it definitely leaked last night. Um, that's all wet there. And you can see it is wet here. So the windowsill is wet. There's the usual wet spot. It's got a lot more plaster bits on it. Showing again that at some point this, well, here I use dry hand, see? Dry hand. There you go. Now you can see it's got moisture on it. So this is an outlet. I'm trying not to <laughs> touch it while taping. It's an outlet. And now yeah, there's water on my hand there. So this definitely again got wet last night at some point. You can see the water dripping around it. And now my curtain's not here. So they can't say it's the water following down the curtain. The curtain was not here. This dripped on its own on top of that outlet. This is one of the big reasons why I moved out. They were not taking care of this water damage issue. And my other videos, like I've said, this damage initially started well over a year ago. I then started reporting the hole in the other bedroom, which I'll show you. So this hole is the one that I started reporting back in April. I have the email from May 15 showing that they acknowledged that there was a hole in the ceiling. I reported it via email, so I finally got them to respond to it. And they just never did anything about it, and it was getting worse. The place was getting more and more dangerous, smells of mold. And that is when I decided in the middle of July to give them my notice to vacate, and I left for my safety. There's water there, and water there. And we're now, like I said, on July 24. They still haven't even come in to address these issues. Um, it's putting the other tenants in danger now because there's no one here to monitor this in case the outlet decides to start a fire. I'll show you, I still have a little bit of my stuff here, not much. I'm almost out. But since they don't talk to me anymore, Arnie and Joe of Hamilton Management, I don't know what's going on. They also put that key box back on my, on my uh, back door to the apartment on July 17. So I have no idea who's even coming in and out of this apartment their own person, is either Joe or the plumber's already done damage to this apartment. While I'm still here, I paid rent in full. They fixed the toilet, didn't fix the sink. The sink's been an issue since April as well. This is that countertop chip. You can see the glue's all dried now. I had tried to glue it back, but they knocked it off, not me. So I don't have that piece anymore to glue back to the counter. Uh, yeah, that kitchen sink was backing up. That's on another video. And just to add to it, this is everything that's gone, going wrong in this apartment. This light doesn't work. Well, not completely at least. And this is something that's been on and off ever since I moved in here. They, you know, fixed it back in 2015 and it just still never worked. So, you say it doesn't turn on all the way, barely any light in here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so it was one of those things you just got used to. But the holes in the ceiling, as far as I'm concerned, are inexcusable. They had plenty of time to come in here and at least try to address these issues, try to fix them, and they just never did. So again, Monday, July 24th, it's actually about 6.30 a.m. Yeah, 6.30 a.m. I just checked my watch. This is due to heavy rains we had last night. Again, showing water on an outlet. Water coming through the ceiling in two of my bedrooms. The one with the water on the outlet was the room I actually used to sleep in. Again, a big reason why I got out of here. 
I didn't want to wake up in the middle of the night to an electrical fire. I didn't want to come back from work if I wasn't able to watch this mess to an electrical fire. And they've actually known about this now, like I said, for several months. I even showed them video of water on this outlet that they had um, acknowledged and received on July 14. And so that's what, over a week ago? And they still haven't done anything. They just don't care about people's safety. Thank you.